is going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today we are headed to the drag strip and we aren't taking none of our sports cars we are taking the pickup truck yes we are taking my 2021 Ram TRX to the track today we're gonna find out what this thing can run on paper Ram claims it's supposed to run a 12-3 but can we beat that time I think we can because we beat the 060 that they claim it can do I think they claimed it could do like a 3.9 I was able to get a 3.5 so could we possibly get in the 11s with a pickup truck now I know that's a little bit reaching but we're gonna just go out there and try I think it's gonna be really really fun the truck is still stock it's not gonna remain stock for long I think it's gonna get into the shop in about like a week or so so we definitely want to see our stock numbers and then we're gonna go back after we modify it and see what it could do when it's modified <laughs> So now it's time to head out. I'm also gonna be taking my Charger Red Eye to the track very soon. We're almost done getting it dialed in. Once it's all done getting tuned, we're gonna take it to get dyno, and then we're gonna put my 17 inch welds, and then we're gonna be able to take it to the track. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see Dig racing action with one of my Hellcats, but you guys are gonna finally see that very, very soon. Let's fill this bad boy up. All right, so I got a quick question for you guys before uh, we finish pumping up. Do you guys believe in wearing your mask when you're in a car, by yourself driving there's no one with you in the car do you believe that you should wear a mask because i see a lot of people doing that and i'm just curious i don't know everyone is entitled to their own opinion here but i just think it can't be healthy for you to keep breathing in and breathing out your own air let me know what you guys think talk to me in the comments below all righty so i had like a quarter in there and <laughs> it cost about 50 just to get three quarters <laughs> all righty let's turn this bad boy on Let's make our trip down to the drag strip. So the funniest thing is the guy like looked at me and he's like, oh, you guys are just going to be watching today? I was like, no, I'm going to be racing. He goes, oh, are you going to be racing this thing? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the guy knew what he was looking at. You know, I don't think he knew that this was a 700 horsepower pickup truck, but he kind of looked shocked that I said we were going to be racing. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, you can race this thing. He felt bad. Bro. <laughs> it was so funny. I was dying. It. I'm like, yeah, we're going to be racing this thing, bro. <laughs> so now we're going to turn the race cool down on to let the car well, not car, truck cool down. The fans are on, and we're gonna cool this thing down before we head out and make a pass. We also got another Hellcat here. Wow. Santa, I think those are 15s. Skinnies, welds. And there's another one as well. That's a red eye. Skinny body red eye. was running NA which means you cannot see what the time is but the Hellcat ran nines I'm not sure exactly what it ran you guys probably seen it in the video it ran high nines at 146 so where the GD500 is they're all hiding they're the from track. the boats the oh they're at the real track, yeah, the track. <laughs> alright let's go ahead and get this done we're gonna put in a sport and we're ready to roll This run did. This thing moves. It hauls. 
It's a pickup truck at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pickup truck. So here's the slip, and it doesn't show the quarter mile anywhere on there. It only shows the eighth, but I think the car might have registered it. So we're gonna go in there and see what time it got on the computer. All right, so we got it loaded up, and then here is the last quarter mile it registered. It registered at a 12 flat which is really good at 108 miles per hour. That is actually amazing. The zero to 60 was 4.3, that's actually horrible. So if we improve that, we can maybe get in the 11s. And that's not using launch control or anything, literally foot on the brake, foot on the gas, and simply launching it at 1700 RPMs. If we get that zero to 60 time lower, I usually get like 3.5, 3.7. If I get that on here, we are gonna be able to run an 11 second pass in a pickup truck from the factory. So I'm gonna try to do launch control on this next one. Let's hope to God it works. The only thing I don't like about launch control is if you mess up one thing, it completely ruins the whole run and the, the truck starts to bog up and it barely goes and it basically wastes a whole pass so anyways uh we're gonna let the truck cool down and go out there and get another run in they get my time right because the slip on the last one was fucked up that's pray it actually actually works this time so the time slip is messed up again and it doesn't have the quarter mile time so we're gonna check the performance pages on here and as you can see it ran a 12 flat at 108 and then the 0 to 60 is 3.9 so a lot better than the first time so we're gonna do one last run of the day I'm gonna try to use launch control and see if that makes a difference I get very nervous using launch control at the track because there's everyone watching and if it f***s up it completely ruins the whole run so I'm gonna just go for it and see what happens let's cross our fingers and hopefully we could get in the 11s that's my goal for today control I tried to follow the little bull that they tell me how to do it and I was just making a fool out of myself over there so I just launched it at 2,000 rpms and called it a day so here's the time slip it supposedly says that I ran 19 seconds so as you can see it's off and very very fucking wrong here is what I ran last at 12.3 at 107. So as you run your car, you start to learn more about it. So I launched this truck at 1500 RPMs, 1700 RPMs, and 2000. The last one was 2000. The slowest one was 2000. The fastest one was 1500. So it likes to get launched somewhere between 1500 to 1700. It really doesn't like to go much higher because when we went much higher, the truck ran a way slower time. So that was a lot of fun. We did three runs and it's 71 degrees out. I'm sweating because the AC is off and uh, yeah that's pretty much all the numbers that ran stock 12 flat not bad 12 flat at 108 not bad for a pickup truck at all and uh, now we're gonna make our way back home and uh, we're gonna get in a red eye and then enjoy the rest of the day and we have made it back to 
e casa. Did I even say that right? E casa? What the f As you can see, I don't know how to speak Spanish very well. But I do enjoy going to Mexico. It feels really good to be back in the Chargers, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is so comfortable to drive. My Challenger is awesome, but it's not as comfortable as the Charger. This thing honestly feels like a yacht on wheels. That's exactly how it feels. They must have heard I just dropped my new mixtape. Uh oh, man down. So one thing I've been meaning to mention to you guys is that I've been looking for a new house for a little while now. It's kind of hard to find something that I like. I'm very picky. I want privacy. I want a big garage, things like that. And in this market, things are like selling. It's very hard to find something. So while I'm looking, do you guys think that I should film when I'm going on these house tours and looking at new houses? Do you think I should film them for you guys? I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. Um, and then maybe when we get the house, we can do like house updates. I don't know. Talk to me in the comments below. I was thinking about doing something like that. But again, this is a car channel. I don't know if you guys care or not, but let me know. Now it wouldn't hurt to do a quick pull. <laughs> um, I don't want to go too crazy. We're not done tuning this thing. Okay. 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 Oh, man, these downshifts are nasty. Oops. Ooh, the radar is going off. Guys, a radar is a must if you have a car that can go above the speed limit. It's that simple. You don't even need a fast car. If your car can go above the speed limit, you need a radar. Because I was just about to do a pullback there, and if I did it, I was going to get pulled over. Oh. 